the fact that organizations do invest in the billions of dollars alone in the in the US alone every single year on these programs what the ostensibly what they are designed to do right in an unconscious bias training session for example or even in a cultural competency training session and so on is to provide an education to a group of individuals whether we're educating them on what their personal biases are, maybe folks take an implicit association test, for example, is, is the provision of education and then the expectation of behavioral change. And I mean, any of us who have ever take, pursued a, like a project of I'm going to educate and then I'm going to behave differently, whether it's I'm going to learn how it is that I should move my body and feed it to be healthy, and then I'm going to expect that I'm going to follow up with the behavior, There, there is a phenomenon called intent action gap. Right. So we can want to do something we can mean to do it. But when it's so ingrained in our subconscious um, behavior and, and our cognitive functions, that's really hard. But it's even much, much harder when you do not have a receptive audience. And and for anyone who's been in an unconscious bias training session or been mandated to take cultural competency training or something of that like, the people who can benefit from that education and a shift in worldview the most are seldom the ones who are open to receiving it in the first place. And so the- Say that, say that again, say that again. So people- The people <laughs> who can benefit from those trainings the most are seldom the ones who are open to receiving it, right? So, so if the desire is to create a workplace and an institution or organization where equality is the status quo, where processes and systems have you know equity baked in, the way to get there is not by trying to train the bias out of people's uh, unconsciouses, right? And there's their their cognitive functions. Um, that is an endeavor that would take everyday coaching, right? From folks like you, like it takes persistent like effort, self education, right? It is a it's a consistent pursuit that's very very difficult. And I, again, that's something people should pursue. But um, again, it's this focus on let's fix the individual and hope that that will have trickle out effects for the way the organization functions. But if we shift our thinking on that, and we think of how as individuals, we operate and function inside the constraints of systems all the time, whether they're political systems, they're educational system, health systems, or the system of an organization, we, we weave through our organizations and systems based on the constraints around us. What is our promotion policy? 